Hey guys, this is Hong Zango. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have the privilege to invite the one only Barry Smither here. She lent me her beautiful canvas to create this makeup look for you. I hope you enjoy the video. Keep the channel always a lot of love. Thank you so much for coming to the channel. And make sure you guys follow Barry, myself, and my whole team on Instagram as well. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you. To start every makeup, I always prep the skin first. The first product I'm using is the lip balm. All the product I'm using today are from La Mer. They're not sponsored, but I think it's gonna do really well on bare skincare. I personally like it myself. The next product is the Concentrate. This is a beautiful serum, very calming, hydrated. I always press the serum into the skin. Sorry, there's a dance school upstairs from my studio. So if you can hear some of the noise, that's what it is. It's a, we, they have their class going on right now. The next product is the Eye Concentrate. Always be very gentle around the eye area. It's really calming, a lot of hydration. The last product is the moisturizer. This is their main moisturizer. It's more a rich moisturizer. I love this moisturizer under makeup. Some people do find them a little rich, but they also have the lotion, the gel version, so it's a lot lighter for you. You can always warm up in the hand first and press to the skin. Always give the face a lot of love. <laughs> Do a massage. If I walk on the client. I usually gonna give the massage like this. I think it's a lot easier just that the client lean back on your chest and you just give them your massage. For the complexion, I'm going to use color corrector, concealer, and the new foundation from Chanel. This foundation, almost like the water tint foundation they have, but it does have a little more coverage than that. They have more shade and more coverage. They come with the foundation brush like this. For me, it's great for touch up or when you travel, but for me, it's a little too small. To start, Berry has incredible skin. You can see that her texture, her skin really incredible. Just a little bit dark color around here, but that can just easy fix by color corrector. 
and you see as soon as I put the little color corrector, her eye just all brighten up again. And close your eye. You don't need to use too much product. And the mistake people is that when they think someone have that dark circle there, they put a lot of product on, you don't need to. A little color corrector is all you need. Berry skin is really beautiful, same idea. I'm using the foundation, really sheer. It does have a light to medium coverage, but for me, it's more like a light coverage than medium. It's a great foundation for someone who wants some coverage, but don't want the skin cover up everything and feel like the skin still. You can see that just a little curl corrector and she looks just flawless. As I said already, berry skin, I think is beautiful. If it isn't every day, I would just leave it like that. I think she just puts mascara on and she ready to go. But because we do a video, I'm gonna do a little foundation as well. I love this foundation. It is quite beautiful. The shades I'm using is number 30. You see it pretty sheer. You just need to add more if you want more coverage. You see that her skin look amazing. If you want more coverage, you can. With this foundation, you still can get more coverage, but I love how, you know, berry skin look like her skin still. It doesn't look too heavy. I'm going to use a little concealer under the eye area and around the nose. The way I apply is between the brush and the finger. I like to press the products after in with a finger. But when I decide where I put the concealer, I use the brush. So it's all personal preference. If you like to use just the finger, you can. And then just a little bit around the mouth as well. I'm going to do the same on the other side. For powder, I'm going to use the loose powder from Givenchy, mainly under the eye area and the T-zone. I'm going to use a little bronzer from Dior Beauty just to warm up the complexion even more, mainly on the perimeter of the face. And you see the way I get the product, very gentle like this. You don't want to ruin the packaging and you can do it just a little bit like that. I'm going to use the bronzer a little bit on top of the nose as well. Love this bronzer, very sheer. You can really use a lot without looking heavy at all. Before I do eyebrow, I'm going to use a blush. And you see this blush from Sisley is quite pigmented. So you use a little bit at a time. You can see I do very little and I blend it out. This is such a beautiful color. If you want more softer blush, you just apply even less. Because right now, Barry doesn't have eyebrow, doesn't have eye makeup. So you can see that the blush is a bit more intense, but I love it. I love the blushy look on people. So you see that I do just a little bit but it's quite a beautiful color. 
do the same on this side love this blush color i mean it's quite beautiful and very i think she looked good on everything but you see this color is just absolutely gorgeous for eyebrow i'm going to use two products from kevin ugon this is a brow pencil and then there's a brow marker to create individual hair and then on the side this one is the brow gel as well to start i do my usual way do an eyebrow you see, I always draw backward like this first. The shades I'm using is Ash Blonde for both. And you see what I'm doing right now? Just to create more depth on the eyebrow. And then A little longer on the back here. You can use a deeper shade if you like, but because I'm going to do the eye pretty smoky, so I want to keep the eyebrow really, really soft. Draw a little higher on the outer part. Just keep the eyebrow a little more lift. I just did the same on this side and then I'm going to use the marker just to fill in a few individual hair as well. This way the eyebrow look more fluffier and more natural looking. What I love about using this marker, it looks more natural. It still looks like hair like. Because if you use the pencil to fill it all in, it could look too harsh and too painted on. And this way, you see that Barry eyebrows do look like her eyebrow, just a little fuller. And I use the eyebrow gel, just gel it up. For eyes, I'm going to use these four products. Tom Ford Eye Primer for Gucci. I'm going to use the eyeliner and the mascara. And I'm going to use this eyeshadow palette from Louis Vuitton Beauty. And I think the shade I'm using mainly just this shade right here. To start, close the eye. I'm going to use a little bit of eyeshadow primer. This is a great eyeshadow primer. They are quite pigmented, so use only a little bit. You don't need too much. I'm going to use the brown liner all around the waterline. Look up for me. So I just do all over the waterline, upper and lower waterline. I love this eyeliner because they long wear, but they have enough time to play. Next, the same brow liner. Sorry, this is brow color. That's what I meant. It's the eyeliner in brow color. And you see that I do along the upper lash line, extend it a little longer to the edges, and then I blend it out. So the edge is more softer. I'm doing the same on this side. 
you see just like this i think it's like she can ready to go with us the mascara but i'm gonna do a little more look up for me a little more on the outer part here i just want to make the eye a little more cast like more feline Next, I'm using this deep color right here. It's more like a brown color, like a cooler tone. I'm using the same brush I use for blending. Do mainly the outer part of the eye. To really smoke it out the edges here. Close your eye. I'm doing the same. You see that I use the same brush, not the big fluffy one because I think it's gonna be messy really easy. And then the same color, I do a little bit on this part here. You see Barry? I'm doing the same on this side. That's all with just one color. Next, I'm using this bronzy color here. I'm using mainly to blend it out. But again, I'm not using a big brush, small one because I want to have a lot of control. Look up for me. Just mainly around in the inner part here. Blend it out the edges. Close your eye. And I put some here as well. I'm doing the same on this side. Look up for me. I just did the same on the other side. And I'm gonna use a blending brush like this with nothing on, close. And I just blend it out a little bit. So soften the edge a little bit. This is a great way to blend your eyeshadow with nothing on with a brush and you just blend it, edge it out. You don't need another color at all. You see that you just blend it, the edges and it look all seamless together. I just curved Berry Lashes off camera for mascara. I'm gonna use two coats on the upper lashes and one on the lower lashes. Just really coat it so it gives the eye a lot of depth. Her eye look amazing guy. It's like so dry, smoky. It's a mix between, you know, like a cooler brown and some bronzy. I mean, I love the shadow color and the liner together. I'm going to use a highlighter from Dior. This one I love because it's more like a glow within. It's not too popping. And I'm using with a fan brush, so even more sheer, which I love. You can see that this like, I go very lightly, a little bit everywhere. Just give a lot of radiance on the face without looking shiny. Too shiny, I mean. Mm -hmm. I love very natural lip color. So I'm gonna use this lipstick color from Tom Ford. It's almost like her lips color, which I love because I don't want to change. I think it's so gorgeous compared with the eye color. So I'm gonna use this lip color from Tom Ford and this lip liner from La Bouche Rouge. Yes. 
I can't say the name. So to start, I'm gonna outline the lip shape. Just mainly just even out the lip shape and then I do a lip color after. I love the Tom Ford formulation. It's very creamy, but quite pigmented, which I love. You see the lipstick? It's almost like berry lip color. Just enhance. This is such a gorgeous lip color. So beautiful. To complete the look, I'm going to use a setting spray from Lancome. It's called Fix It and Forget It. That's the final look, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give this video a thumb up, share the video. Thank you very so much for coming to the channel. I hope everyone loved the look. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow all of us on Instagram as well. Thank you.